Good evening, YouTube. General Soul bringing you MLB The Show 23, Road to the Show. Our World Champion Cub starting pitcher. So, with the World Series done, it is time to do the offseason. Here's hoping the computer isn't completely fucking stupid. Usually it is, and we'll try and get rid of great players just because. And get you shit players. So, let's try our luck. <clears throat> Alright, first we have retirements. So, we lost Eric Stout, a relief pitcher. Don't know the name, so I don't care. Uh, Justin Turner. So, he's retired. Uh, let's see, who else is retired? Miguel Cabrera retired. Zach Grinke, I remember that name. Let's see, anyone else? Mets only lost Tommy Hunter. I'm surprised that two starting pitchers didn't retire. The game does tend to like to retire them after this year. Uh, let's see, Yardiel Hernandez is gone. Chase Anderson. Hunter Strickland, Andrew McCutcheon is gone. And Adam Rain Wainwright, Evan Longoria, second. Uh, Mark McClendon, Mike Moustakis, JD Martinez, and then we got all these uh, free agents who either got too old or they're not good enough to get signed. So, next is people that made the world's or made the Hall of Fame: Miguel Cabrera and Robinson Cano. I don't know why Robinson Cano is making it unless they're basically. In, was he in the minor leagues or something? Because I don't know, but he made the Hall of Fame. Um, Miguel Cabrera was a no-brainer. He's 3,000 hits and 500 home runs. Yeah, he was going to make it. Batting average of 300. Cano, uh, I mean, maybe. I mean, he got a 301 lifetime batting average. He did have a number of RBIs, 300 home runs. Uh, me, personally, I would have liked him to do a little bit better. All right, so we are in the off season. No one in the in the ball club. Let's sim the off season. They did it. They are World Series champions. Jake Peavy, you know what it's like to hold up that trophy. You did it in back-to-back -back years in 13 and 14. Yeah, it's a culmination of a lot of hard work, years of preparation, thinking about this as a little boy and getting the opportunity to be a part of winning it. It is pure joy, and like you said, Carlos overcoming years of going home disappointed in not being the World Series champion. Incredible feeling and pretty good party follows after. Oh, the parties, Carlos, in that clubhouse. <laughs> Rightfully so. I mean, are you thinking about all these years, all this hard work, all this dreaming? It's really a dream come true, just materializing right before your eyes. So uh, the proverbial, just sitting there victorious and exhausted at the same time. Right. What a great feeling. Hey, you, you got a memento from the World Series. I took home the duck boat. Me and John Lester rode the streets of Boston in this duck boat. I had a lot of family, still have a lot of family, that I needed to get on the duck boat. Had to buy it to make you that You have happen. that? I got it. It's no way. on your World <laughs> Series awesome. championship. <laughs> All right, so the thing that really gets me with this game and last year's game, they did this, both did the same thing, is you get a contract offer before your agent talks to you about the rookie and contracts and how it works. So we'll go, go ahead and we'll go over it and we'll, we'll just skip what the agent says. So... You are not eligible for free agency for your first six years. So for three years, you were on a rookie contract, which means the club is going to pay you next to nothing 
no matter how amazing you are, they're going to basically sip shit on a brick and say, here, this is your pay. And you pretty much have to accept it. You can negotiate to get a little less shit on the brick, but they're not going to negotiate too high. You're not going to make like tens of billions of do- tens of millions of dollars. No, even though I obviously deserve it. But they ain't going to pay me shit. So. They want to give me 740000 for one year. They obviously have payroll. They have $119 million to play with. They can afford to fucking pay me. They just don't want to. So, like I said, we can negotiate a little bit. What I like to go ahead and do so that I don't have to do this every year is I go for a three-year contract. And I'll negotiate them down from about 2 point, almost 2.5. Yeah, they want to give me two point, almost 2.3. We'll come down a little bit. They came up a little bit. Come down a little bit. They came up a bit more. Come down a little bit more. Okay, they have agreed to pay me $2.42 million a year. Or not a year, but for three years. So my contract... Mm, I want to... Oh, here. Rotation. I want to look at my contract here. So we're making 806000 a year for three years. When we get to 2027, we go into arbitration. The way arbitration works is we, the club will state, will put a pro, if we don't agree on a contract, we will go to an arbitrator. The club will tell them how much they want to pay me. I'll tell the, I'll tell the judge how much I think I'm worth. The judge will decide which one's more fair. So if I, go way high on what I want, I'll get what the club wants to give me. You have a choice if you can agree with the club to just go ahead and agree to an offer with them before the arbitration. If you can't agree, you're going to arbitration. So for three years, we're going to make 806000 a year. I'm hoping to... I am hoping that... Oh, they have already... already Okay, so now our agent is going to talk a to congratulatory us. Phone call. I saw the parade, Tony. The fans went nuts for you guys. Congratulations, champs. Uh, it's all about the fans. They make the game great. New to the majors, this player is offered schooling on the structure of his contract. So this is where he's going to go over how the rookie contract works. I wish he would have done this before I got an offer. But yeah, sounds good. And yeah, for six years in the majors, we're not eligible for free agency. So until the rookie contract expires, you're just stuck, basically. Things can sometimes happen. It's not really going to happen. And then arbitration, uh, basically GM gives a number, we give a number, judge decides what we're worth. And that's how much I get for that season. All right, interesting. All right. Uh, I think I've got it. The agent moves on from that topic. Uh, do you want me to to want to update him on how we're feeling? Um, not necessary right now. We'll see. All right. And off season is done. We're springtime time. Let's see what moves we made. Please tell me you didn't do anything stupid. First off, trades. You fucking dumbasses. Fucking dumbasses. They pretty much got rid of two of the people that got us to where we are. They got rid of Seiya Suzuki for a starting pitcher. And they got rid of Trey Mancini, our first baseman, for a starting pitcher. They got rid of my fucking catcher for a starting pitcher. These pitchers better be... In the lineup, let's take a look at the roster. 
I am the ace. Okay. Ooh, we got Sunny Gray. Ooh, you caught my attention. And now our former ace is now in the bullpen. Sunny Gray. Last year's MLB The Show, the Mets got Sunny Gray for a year, and he was our he was a Cy Young Award winner for us. So. I'm hoping he's just as good in this year's version because I'm excited about Sonny Gray. How long we got him for? One year. All right. Relief pitchers. Drew Smith. I was thinking that's a Met name. I remember him from the Mets. He would, he would always come up in relief for the Mets. How did we get him if he's on arbitration? Cody Heber. So we uh, let our closer go. Uh, okay, so Kitten Giles, Giles is our closer. We got him for one year. Uh, catchers. Okay, Mike Zunino. Okay, from the Guardians. He wasn't even a starting catcher. What the fuck are you thinking? 3.9 for some guy who can't even prove it. Luis Torrens. One year. I think I would rather have Luis Torrens than uh, Mike. Rene. Why do we have this guy in the MLB when this guy is better? Rene Pino Pinto. He's a rookie. He's an old rookie. First baseman. Yeah. I don't like this. I don't like this. We got him for one year. I don't like it. He didn't even play last year. I d what is it with the Cubs in this game? They want to sign people that didn't play last year and get rid of good players. I don't like this. Okay, we kept Nico Horner. That's good. At least you didn't completely screw the pooch there. David Bote. Did we have him last year? I think we did. Christopher Morrell. I Was he our shortstop? He was. Okay, we kept him. He's a rookie. All right. And all right, well, all right, we kept uh, Dansby Swanson. Good, good, good. Glad you're not completely stupid, just kind of stupid. Okay, we still got Ian Happ, and looks like we kept Lourdes Garrell. Yeah, I would trade him. All right, shorts or center field. Okay, so we got Rafael Ortega. Was he with us last year? Okay, he played for two teams last year. So he was a Cub. Looks like he looks like we traded for him last year, and now we got him this year. <laughs> we got rid of him. The Cubs said, "Here, have him back. He sucks." <laughs> okay, I want to keep an eye on Pete Crow Armstrong. This guy's coming up to the majors probably this year and probably going to take center field. All right. We got rid of Seiya Suzuki for this dumbass. Oh, he's a Philly. Yeah. So he's one of these that, I can only hit home runs. I can't touch the ball otherwise. Really? We're paying him $20 million for three years. Three years straight. This guy is younger. Um, okay, where did Seiya Suzuki go? Went to the Blue Jays. So he's 29, 78 overall. We were paying him less. The Cubs computer gen GM 
is a potato. We're paying, we were paying him less money and he's better. He was better, we were, he was younger, and we were paying him less money. Dumbasses. In all honesty, if we're being honest, that's probably my biggest complaint. I would have kept Seiya Suzuki. Probably, I mean, let's see. Christopher Morel is a jump up. Sonny Gray is an increase. Marcus Stroman went up. Nico Horner, I believe, went up. So, I mean, maybe. Maybe it'll work. I would have liked for us to kept uh, Suzuki, but I guess it'll work. Um, I, okay, I want to know... Who got the big guy? Who got him? Who got him? I know he's going to be like the ace. Who got him? Who got him? Who got him? Come on. Shohei Otani is now on the south side of Chicago. He's a White Sox. I honestly would be absolutely okay in real life if he did that, if he's not going to sign for my team. All right. There's another... There's another big name, first baseman, that I want to know where he went. I know we didn't get him. Where did he go? Or did he stay? Pete Alonso stayed with the Mets. Okay. Um, not, not sure who else is a big first uh, free agent. But yeah. All right. I guess I can live with what we got. Uh, let's see. Now take a look at relationships unfortunately the catcher they got rid of I had maxed out my relationship with he was my catcher he understood me and you got rid of him <laughs> oh well all right so we got some guys that we got to build a relationship with and we got some guys that we're getting there with by the if not by the end of this year, but probably sometime la next year, people that stay, I will have maxed out relationships with. We'll see. So as far as other teams go, uh, my catcher that I had built up a, a relationship with, where did he go? 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 Where did you send him? You sent him to the Marlins? So, he is now a maxed out rival because I had maxed him out on our team. Uh, Should have kept him. He may not have been the greatest but he was my catcher. He understood me. He called things that others don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, another thing I wanted to look at here. So we got our uh, events and awards. So last year, we were drafted third by the Chicago Cubs. We made our first appearance in double-A on April 7th against the Birmingham Barons. We... It was our first start, our first win, and our first strikeout. We later made the Futures game as a starter and the All-Star team as a starter. And we were promoted to AAA. 
On July 16th, we had our first AAA appearance against Omaha Storm Chasers. It was our first start. We also got our first strikeout. If you remember, we did not get our first win until our last game in AAA against the Louisville Bats on July 28th. We were then promoted to the MLB. On August 2nd, we made our first appearance against the Cincinnati Reds. It was our first start, our first win. We had our first strikeout. On August 20th, we had our first complete game shutout against the Kansas City Royals. The Cubs made the postseason. I won Rookie of the Year. The regular season of 2023 ended. The Cubs then went on to win the Division Series, the National League Championship Series, and the World Series. And I won the World Series MVP as a rookie. That ended my contract, and we signed a three-year contract with the Cubs. I have so far in that one year of work earned $264,596. So, I know we didn't do very much this year. The whole purpose of this was to get our off-season done and see what our new lineup was going to be. Speaking of which, what is the lineup in rotation? Nico Horner is leading off, Rafael Ortega, oh, this dumbass that we shouldn't have traded for last year, Miguel Sano, Dansby Swanson, Nick Castellanos, oh yeah, we got rid of Suzuki for this guy, uh, Christopher Morel, Raymond Urias, Luis Torrens, so, um, to be honest, I'd be playing Ian Happ in left field, because he is better. And I, or it, and I would be playing Mike Zunino, Zunino at catcher because he is better. If we go, oh, wrong button. If we go left-handed, okay, so that's what they're doing. So Ian Happ is going to be in there against lefties, and so is our the catcher Mike Zunino is going to be in there against lefties against righties. They're going to put in uh, the other guys. All right. For our rotation. It is me as the ace, Marcus Stroman, Sonny Gray, Eric Lauer, Yanni Chirnos. Our former ace, Jameis Italian, has become a... a, uh, a um, a reliever. Uh, I'm sorry, Jameson. To be honest, I wanted to impress with you anyway. Uh, I mean, I guess that, that tells you how good the pitching is because we're essentially got six pitchers around 80, three at 80 or above, and three at 78. So, of course, one of you guys has to become a reliever. Maybe I would have made Jameson a starter and put uh, either Eric or Yanni as a reliever because Jameson did have a decent year last year until I came around, but whatever. All right. I don't think we have any injuries right now, do we? No, we do not. All right. Well, I know no game today. Uh, we will start spring training to next video. Uh, we're not going to be pitching too often, so we may take a look and see if I can just do all of spring training in one video. If not, we might do like two or three videos for spring training, we'll do multiple games. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like, feel free to subscribe for more. You can follow me on Twitch where I do stream MLB The Show and other games. I'll see you guys next time.